It's here! I am so excited. Let's go open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so I am so excited. I got this in the mail today and I'm supposed to have eight cuttings in here. I was surprised at how small it was. Well, I mean, they are cuttings, so let's see what I get. Let's go ahead and open it up. I was surprised my mailman put it in the mailbox, even though it says live plants. You know, that's something I would think they would put on your doorstep, but as long as it fits in the mailbox, I guess my mail carrier has been putting it in the mailbox. I'm just really glad that it was a Saturday, so I was home. I was able to grab it right away so it didn't fry in that. I have a black mailbox, but ooh, it's purple. <laughs> it's purple. I like purple. Okay, this is cute. Little card. Planted Portland. That's who I got it from. Planted Portland. This video is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Um, okay, so let's see some instructions. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'm gonna get this with the scissors. Don't want to risk smashing anything in here. And here. Ooh, rare plant mystery bundle. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I've been wanting one of these. Oh, I've been wanting all of these. Okay, wow. Wow. Let me get oh, all this. Okay, wow, they really packed them in tight. Okay, I was thinking they'd be individually shipped, but no, they're all all nice and tight here. Oh, this is... Um, okay, yeah, I think they're just cuttings. Five to eight or 10 unique plant cuttings. It was the two inch to three and a half inch fully rooted rare plants. I, I think I got the eight cuttings. This is some nice moss. Nice and wet still, it was a really good sign. Nice and wet. Okay. Okay, wow. This is it. great. Let me pull these apart. Here we go. One thing is I wish they were labeled because a lot of these varieties can look very similar to other varieties, but then they would have to package them individually and I get how that would be harder. Let's see. Here's one, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, let's start off with my Epipremnum Panatum Aria. Um, this one, this is probably the one that uh, most looks like some that I have, which is the Epipremnum Arium, the uh, Golden Pothos. But this variety apparently will actually have fenestrations but I'm still super excited about this one and it should have a lot of good variegation as long as I give it a lot of sun and we'll have some fenestrations too. So I'm, I'm excited about this guy, here we go. And then the next one is one that I've actually been looking for <laughs> and I haven't found anywhere. So I'm so excited that I found it here. This is actually the Epipremnum, the uh, Baltic Blue. So it's, you can see it's a little darker um, if it gets low light, it'll turn even darker, but it's related to the Cebu blue or the Cebu blue. And this guy will fenestrate as well. You can see one of these tiny baby leaves already has some fenestrations here. So I'm super excited and these should root super easy, like very easy. I'm going to put these in some water, get them rooted. Here's a little node right here. Anyway, so excited for the epipremnums. And then we have the Hoya, which is one that I don't have too many of yet. So I'm really excited that I got a Hoya. And this one is the 
I want to see the Croniana Super Silver. Okay, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to see, but if you peel these leaves back, these are just gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I can't wait to have like a whole pot full of this. I'm like really excited and these are supposed to be rare. So I am very happy with this Hoya and just these beautiful markings like, oh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay, and then moving on then, I also got the uh, two Monsteras, which is so cool, so cool. I got the Stad, let's see, I can't even pronounce this one, guys. Stadliana Albo, okay? And oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at this, beautiful spots on here. So dark green with these beautiful like white spots. And then some of them will actually have more uh, white variegation in it. So I'm so excited to get this one rooted and growing and see what I can't get. Anyways. Very pretty, very pretty leaf here. There we go. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous Monstera there. And then I got the uh, Monstera P Peru, which is actually this guy. I haven't seen this before, but it is so gorgeous. Like having just these dark green leaves uh, just climb and then it can also act kind of like a pothos and that it'll climb, it'll vine, stuff like that. It actually looks more like a pothos cutting. So, uh, but it's classified as a monstera and this is just so pretty. It reminds me of kind of like the skindapsis leaves, just big and very kind of, just very pretty. Very dark, very pretty. Okay, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, and then we have the Syngonium. I got two Syngoniums. So I got the Batik and the Frosted Heart. Okay, and we'll start with the Batik. It was so pretty here. Here we have the Syngonium Batik. Look at that. Look at that. I bought a lot of like green and white houseplants today at the store. <laughs> I, I got a lot of plants today in general um, with the arrival of these, but these will fit in beautifully next to my white. Um, I got a white edge aglionema. Okay, and this leaf is a little twisted, but it still has some really pretty coloring in it. And it's got a new little guy on here too. So as long as I get him in some water, hopefully I'll be able to keep that new growth there. Okay, and then the other one is the Frosted Heart. And this one's supposed to be super rare too. And look at this. Isn't that just so pretty? It's like a Frosted Heart. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, the leaves got a little bent here. But oh, look at that. Looks like a watercolor. Honestly, it looks like, it, it looks like someone painted it in a little watercolor painting. And I also got the Philodendron Bipinifolium Aria. Okay, and this one is supposed to be super rare. And I was surprised because the leaf isn't quite the shape that the typical uh, Philodendron Bipinifolium Aria is, but that isn't to say that it isn't going to get that way. So I'm excited. I'm going to put it in some water and see what happens if the next leaves are kind of more that shape that kind of goes in and then back out. Anyways, yeah, so excited for this one. So overall, I am super happy with this. I looked it up and a lot of these plants, plant cuttings are very rare. So I'm very happy with what I got. Um, I'm happy that I went with the eight. Uh, it didn't give me the option. It says here five, eight, or 10. It didn't give me the option to have 10. It just had five or eight. So I'm really happy I went with the eight. And overall, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Good on you, plant. Planted Portland. They have no idea I'm doing this video. So surprise. Hello. <laughs> but I'm so happy. Oh, some of these leaves are just gorgeous. I cannot wait to plant these to get some roots going. They arrived in great shape. Yeah, like I said, some of the leaves are a little folded, 
but all of the, the roots are um, like the, the nodes. They're all in super good shape because they're in the, um, they were in that sphagnum moss. So things are looking good. They're looking good. I'm sure these leaves will bounce back. But oh, so pretty, so pretty guys. So happy, okay? I'm very happy with these, very happy. Okay, I'm gonna get to putting them in some water and I will keep you all posted with how they are doing, how they're growing. So be sure to follow me on uh, my website, thegirlwiththeshovel.com. Also, you can find me on Instagram at the.girlwiththeshovel. And also join the Facebook group, House Plants for Plant Killers, and I will be keeping updates there especially. I love to interact with everyone in my Facebook group. So have a good one. And if you haven't gotten a mystery box before, I would say go for it. This was so fun. It was like a present to myself and <laughs> super happy. I'm super happy today, guys. Super happy. Okay, well, have a good one and I will see you next time.